Hi, in this uh, third video of uh, corneal topography, we will discuss the uses of uh, corneal topography, briefly the differences between ARP scan and Pentacam scan, how to differentiate uh, the maps uh, of two and color coding of uh, topography. I will start with the uses of corneal topography and tomography. Now the most important is the detection of corneal ectasias like keratoconus, keratoglobus, pellucid marginal degeneration and then the follow up um, and of treatment and progression of uh, keratoconus uh, is also done with corneal topography and tomography then detection of uh, ocular surface disorders like pterygium, corneal scars, uh, salesman nodular degeneration and irregularities of the cornea, selection of candidate for refractive surgery as well as uh, corneal cross linkages, pre-refractive surgery to identify irregular astigmatism and corneal thinning. IOL selection, especially fake intraocular lens with anterior chamber depth uh, measurement, post refractive surgery to see ectasia, to guide suture removal or placement or corneal relaxing incisions, uh, post keratoplasty astigmatism evaluation and management, uh, orb scan. Now another technique of corneal topographic assessment is the scanning slit technique. 40 slits are projected sequentially on the cornea, 20 nasal and 20 temporal during the image acquisition to create an overlapping pattern of scanning slits. Now this method uses rapidly scanning projected slit beams of light and a camera to capture the reflected beams to create a map of the anterior and posterior corneal surfaces. So that is uh, orb scan. <clears throat> orb scan uses a scanning slit technique uh, whereas pentacam uses a chamflick rotating cam technique. Uh, so the last technique in which we use a rotating camera that enables us to catch both anterior and posterior surfaces of the cornea that is Schamflag imaging technique to photograph corneal cross sections illuminated by slit beams at different angles. So that's the pentacam and if you use a dual Schamflag rotating cam then that is Galilee. Now look at the diagram. This is colored printout of uh, orb scan. The values are in the center in the orb scan. Anterior and posterior elevation maps are superior whereas axial and thickness maps are shown inferior. Whereas if you compare it with pentacam, values are on the left side, axial map, top left anterior elevation map, top right posterior elevation, bottom right and pachymetry, bottom left. So with these differences you can identify clearly and then the appearance as well. In pentacam, full cornea is shown whereas in orb scan, not full cornea, periphery is not that much shown. Warm colors like red and orange, they shows that the cornea is steep in axial, anterior and posterior corneal elevation maps. Whereas in pachymetry map, it tells you about thinning of the cornea. So these are the alarming colors. Red is for alarming or red is for not good. Cool colors like blue, purple, light blue it means that the cornea is flat less curved less powerful and in pachymetry map shows that the cornea is thicker than the normal green is good color normal power and normal thickness of the cornea it tells you yellow is near normal color so near normal keratometric power and near normal thickness of the cornea. Understanding color coding is very important. If you don't know the theory and don't understand the normal values or the values which are shown in these maps, but if you see lot of green in the... It means that the 
cornea is normal all the values are normal but if you see a lot of blue and purple uh, it means that the cornea is flat uh, and cornea is thick but if you see a lot of red orange it means cornea is thin and uh, high probability of a disease so that was uh, the color coding color coding is very important if you will see a lot of red and orange it means that there is definitely some pathology like keratoconus uh, other ectasias uh, corneal thinning um, and the patient is not uh, fit for uh, corneal cross linkages um, refractive surgeries thank you very much